you know, when you're building a new highway, you're kind of going from A to B, and if there are streams that cross that path, you, you can't but impact those streams. Mitigation is a way to kind of offset that adverse impact uh, based due to the project with a beneficial environmental uh, replacement of that lost resource. The, the purpose of the Buck Run Project is compensatory mitigation for the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission's Southern Beltway Project. So for us, what the Buck Run Project was, it was a land acquisition design, permit, build, operate, and maintain of stream mitigation for the Turnpike Commission. And what we were able to do and where the, the team came together so well was keep track of the Turnpike Commission schedule and just be ahead of it and they could focus on developing their highway project. Buckburn 1 and 2 were, were both uh, projects that we were able to grab the entire headwaters. So we were very lucky and blessed to, to find multiple landowners for each respective project uh, that were willing to come on board and, and, and sign an easement with us. So, you know, we're always looking for projects where we can control the, the entire watershed. Uh, and that just helps from a, a project standpoint, a build standpoint. It makes our design better and it kind of makes the end product better when we can control all the streams within the project boundaries. We can say with a high level of confidence that this site is going to perform and it's going to do really well and, and our, our monitoring data has already proven that. You know one of the like, first things we usually see is um, an increase in base flow or you know year-round water is in that that channel which then leads to um, fish range expansion. Because we're restoring these large systems that drain into a downstream resource, you see further improvements downstream. You're increasing your flood storage capacity. You're lowering the risk or probability of damaging flooding events to downstream communities. You're providing more groundwater in the water table in addition to the water chemistry improving because you have wetland interaction. They're the kidneys of nature and they're filtering out those contaminants. in four or five years from now. You're gonna see a very diverse habitat. Uh, you probably won't see this, this dream and that's, that's on purpose. You don't wanna see the channel. Um, you wanna see this almost messy looking uh, valley wide area. It's really gonna show folks what this system would have looked like prior to um, human settlement. One of the biggest things that we love doing is taking people out to these sites. Oftentimes people don't really understand what it means to, to, to say, we're relocating the stream and we're, we're raising the level of the stream bed back up so that it's reconnected with its floodplain. It gets hard to visualize until you see it on the ground. So when we take folks out to see these sites, the reality of it is just, 
it's very overwhelming and exciting.